Welcome back everyone to A Gentleman's Life. Sam here and today I am going to bring you an unboxing video. Uh, one of the uh, watches I've ordered has come in so we'll see how it turns out. I'm not really sure what to expect. Uh, I got one that I really like the idea of I think is what this one is um, and um, really like the idea of, but I'm just not sure that it's going to quite fit the way I might like it or turn out as I hoped. So without further ado, let me switch around to first person view. We'll get a look at the watch and see, um, see how it is. All right, so here we are. You can see I've already somewhat unboxed it. It is a Christopher Ward. Um, you can see here it came wrapped up. This was on the outer portion and then it was well wrapped in bubble wrap. And this box was well wrapped in bubble wrap and then the actual box was inside of that. So it was very well wrapped up. And this is bigger than any of the other Christopher Ward boxes I've had before, so I have a feeling that I think I know what this might be. So we are going to do that. All right. Let's see what we have here. This is a uh, micro fiber um, cleaning cloth. So there we are. Very nice. That will be handy. And here we have a letter. They handwrite your name on there telling you a little bit about your watch and their 60-60 guarantee which allows you 60 days from the day you purchase it to return it free of charge for a full refund or exchange and then um, the actual invoice so we have that and then this is a bit different ah this is the watch I thought it was so this is the um, the booklet so this is the C900 Harrison Single Pusher Chronograph. It's limited edition, 250 pieces. Um, and the reason I decided to try this, even though I thought it might be too big and that I might not like it, so we're going to see if I do, is that I've always been fascinated by the idea of the single pusher or mono pusher chronographs. Um, I'm not a huge chronograph guy, really. Um, I like the idea of a moon phase chronograph, uh, which is why I really like the, the Zenith uh, chronomaster with moon phase, you know, triple date moon phase chronograph. And I like bicompax chronographs um, specifically, uh, and the single pusher option. And then I've always just had a like liking for the Omega Speedmaster Man on the Moon watch. Um, but I'm not a huge like chronographs aren't the watches that make it for me. So when I found when I found a bicompax single pusher, I thought I might try it out, especially at this price point from a company that I kind of like what they're doing. Um, so, so we have here they have a story about how the C900, the single pusher, came to be, some of the history behind it, some nice pictures, a little bit um, about um, Johannes Janka who was the one that created the uh, the the, uh, the caliber for this uh, watch. Oh, this is nice. It's talking about the components of the movement, the different parts in here and where they are so you can know where they are when you're looking at it. And it looks like here it's showing what happens um, when you engage different parts of the chronograph. So very interesting, actually. I'll have to do some reading of this. Really kind of cool. I like that. So that's really nice. And this is a certificate of authenticity. Um, as you can read, it says it certifies this C900 single pressure chronograph as an original um, Swiss made hand assembled, hand assembled timepiece from Christopher Ward and Johann Janka. Uh, one of 250 pieces. The single pressure complication was designed by Johann Janka in Switzerland. And then this states that uh, this one is number 148 out of 250. And then it is hand signed by Johann Zianka and Christopher Ward and dated with the month of purchase. So that's really nice. I like that. So 
little bit of extra stuff there compared to your uh, normal average Christopher Ward watch, which would make sense for a 250-piece limited. So on to the watch itself. And here you can see we've got the nice box inside. So let me pull that out. And we will be left with uh, the box itself. So here we go, open that up, and here you can see the watch itself, very nice, and here, let's see if I can get a good view, C900 single pusher chronograph 250 piece limited edition, so let's pull this out of the case here, well packaged and everything. First look at it, you can see uh, these brush sides. It is pr a pretty thick watch, but that's that's there's a reason for that given the movement inside. So for those of you who don't know, the uh, the single pusher chronograph is um, uh, based on the Unitas, a hand wind Unitas 6497. Um, and then there's a module added to create a chronograph with a single pusher. So let me undo the strap here. Put that back in there. Here we go. So here you can see the dial of the C900 single pusher. Got the Roman numerals at the 12 and 6 o'clock and the little dash marks for the other hour hands. Nice large um, chrono subdials there for the bicompacts. You can see here on the left you've got the continuous counting seconds hand. On the right that will be um, a 30 minute counter. And then here you've got the long second hand for the chrono function. And then really nice here, actually, to me, is uh, the uh, hour and minute hand are colored differently than the chronograph hand. So that's kind of neat. The um, really simple dial. You see just a Christopher Ward London and the Caliber chronograph, Swiss made. You can see it's a polished top, polished um, bezel. Here, let me... Um, Really nice. 43 millimeters across, so pretty big for this dressier style, but as a chrono, I think it works. I think that keeping the design simple helps too. It's on this black alligator strap. And here's the crown. Oh, that's kind of nice. you can, neat. You can see how it's um, polished with that um, nice matte CW in it. That's really nicely engraved, I think. Let me start it so you can kind of see. So the button is in the crown. So if I if I uh, press the button, so you see it start going. Now it does look a little bit jumpier than your typical high beat type chronographs because it is based on the 18,000 um, beat Unitas 6497. And if we stop it, and then single pushers are just so sim simple uh, for chronograph functions. I really like the, the concept of, the, of that single pusher or mono pusher chronograph. That's really neat. Let's look at the back really quick and I'll give you a quick wrist shot. And if I decide to keep it, I'll do a review as well. So here's the movement. Oh, let me, um, let me pull off the butterfly clasp really quick to give a better view of the movement. I think that'll be helpful for you guys to see. All right. And actually I can pull that off as well. So here we are. And actually, I would argue this is a decorated movement, although uh, you could argue it's not decorated in your typical flashy style um, you can see that the uh, the parts are all meticulously, meticulously brushed, um, 
and it's got kind of that really utilitarian look, which I think is really neat. You can see here the Christopher Ward London and the number 148 of 250 there. And down here you can see the, the CW and JJ02. And then what do we have here? Uh, down here, Swiss made 148 of 250. And that's it on that surround, nothing else. But I think that's actually a really kind of classy looking, utilitarian looking uh, movement. Let me engage everything once, see what it looks like from the, from the back, because I haven't seen that yet. Come on, focus. Sorry guys, it's the iPad today. Let's see here. really neat seeing how it works like that so anyways I uh, I'm really intrigued by this let me get a quick wrist shot to give you all an idea and then for me it's gonna be deciding as to whether I want to keep it or send it back um, thirty four hundred dollars which is a lot most expensive Christopher Ward they've uh, the, the or watch the company has made However, I mean, there's only one, maybe two other single pushers in that price range, and the vast majority of them are $8,000 or more. Um, so it's not a complication that gets made that often, um, but it's one I really like. And I like Christopher Ford as a brand and what they're trying to do. So I think, I think it'd be kind of interesting to have this, this type of, of complication I've always enjoyed or been intrigued by with a brand I, I, that I appreciate and would like to support. Well, also having that limited edition. Let's see here. So, on the wrist, let me get my uh, iPad up. On the wrist, so yep, yeah, it looks reasonably big, but not too big. Um, it is. It is a rather thick watch, but um, it doesn't feel overly thick, to be honest. It feels like it fits well and is comfortable. Um, big, fa big wide open face for a dressier styled watch, but really interesting design. So, hope you all enjoyed that first look. That's almost a half review, really, with, um, with the length of that video. Um, I may do a review of this later. I'd like to know what you guys think in the comments below. What do you think of the Christopher Ford's attempts to try to do something interesting um, with movements and styles? And uh, what do you think of what that makes for them? I mean, they've had to go quite a ways out of their normal price range to do this, but I think it's a really interesting thing they've tried to do. Leave uh, your thoughts in the comments below and let me know what you think. And uh, I'll let you guys know if I decide to keep the watch or not. Until next time.